Welcome to my channel. This is Rashid. I have 23 years of IC design experience, including 19 years at Intel. This video is about a question that students ask me typically, how they can start their career in IC design. So I have five tips for you. And before I go into those five tips, I will give you very briefly my own story. Because everybody's circumstances, everybody's family situation, everybody's motivation, is different so do what is best for you and whatever comes best for you one of the hardest thing that i found in my life was when you have multiple things to do and you have to make a quick decision and you don't know which one is going to be best for you at that time given the current circumstances make that decision go for it things will automatically get better or change as you go okay so my story i i was born in pakistan grew up in pakistan did my bachelor degree from Pakistan. The way I got into IC design was the final year project. My bachelor thesis was on FPGAs, um, implemented a hardware with VHDL. Then my first job, Verilog um, validation. Uh, then second job, again, VHDL, Verilog and FPGAs. That's where I decided to go for master degree and I decided to do it in analog with the majors in analog and RF design. So I go to Sweden, finish my coursework. For the thesis work, I get a paid thesis opportunity for six months in Germany. And that is again in VHCL and FPGAs. Then I find out that Intel is there in, in the city of Braunschweig in Germany. And uh, they're looking for somebody in their physical design team. Uh, I never work in physical design team. But, and I wanted to work on the analog and RF, but I didn't get opportunity there. So the opportunity came and they selected me because I had good design experience. They got me into synthesis SDA and it was a design automation team, flow supporting other teams and all that. So I just said, okay, let's get started with that. I barely needed that job anyway for money and also for visa because everything was pretty close to the end. Started that. Three, four years I spent there, got an opportunity, opportunity with Intel Ireland because I wanted to go into SDA and they had an SDA lead position. It was not a lead position, it was an SDA engineer position. I went there and the person who was doing SDA, he left. So I got the opportunity to become SDA lead. I learned a lot from that first project that I did as an SDA lead. Then got opportunity to do place and route, rest of the physical design things, floor planning, global clocking, layout verification, and all of that. After doing few projects, few um, few tape outs, I got the opportunity to become a lead um, for the physical design team, and then I got opportunity to become a physical design manager. Uh, then after spending seven to eight years in Ireland, I got opportunity as a physical design manager with Intel and Fort Collins, Colorado, where I worked for about eight years and then resigned. So that's, that's my story, just quick higher level. Um, and then the tip, tips that I, sorry, the tips that I, um, I have. So the very first one is if you want to get into IC design, your bachelor thesis is important. Try to do that thesis in, in related to IC design. Whether, uh, whatever you think is possible best and under circumstances. For example, if you are a student, uh, physical design probably will be very hard. Okay, so RTL, implementing a hardware on uh, using a system very log or very log, that's your best chance in my opinion, or FPG, just go for that. And for those areas, now I will look back, you know, don't look at system very log or VHDL or very log as a, a coding um, language. Look at that as uh, a way to implement hardware. So the key thing is, you know, the core hardware concepts. My videos that I started with, with exactly that thing in my mind, okay. You start with combinational circuits, sequential circuits, that completes your digital logic design. And after that, you go into computer architecture and you implement computer architecture. That's really important. Not just read through the book and do some questions here and there. And when it comes to implementing your, your digital logic design or computer architecture, then system very log, very log, VHDL, whatever you have is your best friend. Uh, free simulators, use those. 
uh, learn hardware that's that's really important okay once you do a good decent bachelor thesis project now you are looking for a job now that's the second tip okay once whatever approach most likely where you worked on or where you had expertise or that's where you will get an opportunity right and i see design but it could be an rtl design it could be rtl validation it could be maybe more embedded side um and here the second tip is uh, be open to areas it's sometimes you will make that in mind okay no rtl design is the one physical design is the one no just just open be open every field in ic design whether it's software whether hardware or between software hardware firmware or within hardware so many fields every field is complex it has its importance it has its value it has job opportunities it has demands okay so do see wherever your interest is but then look for opportunities where your interest is but if you don't find there something there it's okay uh, don't get disappointed go in a different area try that in the meantime uh, apply for the opportunities where you want to work on and if you feel uh, that you like the new area great if you don't you find an opportunity go in another area so don't be too specific this is a time where you don't know much you don't want to confine yourself too much okay do whatever you do and once you get a job do your best to do be to be really good in what you do that's really important learn the basic go to the bottom level pay attention to the details learn things improve your concept if you didn't get opportunity to improve your concepts uh, during the college time during the school time then that's your time now you're working on a practical thing so that uh, was the bigger number two i know i, I spoke so many things inside number two then number three um, actually, I think I already covered the three things. So first one was your bachelor thesis in, in the related field of fancy design. Second one is having good uh, fundamental concepts of hardware, digital logic and computer architecture and implementing that in system very log, very log VHDO. Third thing was open to job opportunities. The fourth thing is once you get a job or once you feel like, okay, this is kind of a nice area. Um, if you spend a few months in it, a year or two years, and then move on, you might not get a good concept of it. Uh, you have to spend uh, some time going deeper in an area. Like, for example, if you're doing physical design block level, spend about two, three years in physical design. Do a couple of tape outs. If you are in FPGAs, you know, get a good, decent experience of going through complete cycle of algorithms and implementation and dumping on FPGA, putting FPGAs on PCBs or actual hardware, get the whole experience, experience sorry, because that is really important. You don't want to touch the surface, ah, I like it, don't like it, move on. So that, that is important, go deeper into an area. Uh, but another thing important is, earlier on in your career, that is the time when you can go into different areas once you become more experienced with the company getting good salary your grades are higher uh, you get you have kids or family and all that it will be harder for you to change it um, because with the change comes your salary will be impacted career impacted and all that your self-ego comes in okay now i'm become a junior although i have many years of experience so earlier on you can also make jumps for example if you don't like a particular area you're trying to learn and all that, but because of some other factors, it's, it's not the case. Jump on a different area. That's okay. Don't get um, too much in love with one area. Oh yeah, it was physical design. I saw somebody rushing doing physical design. I just want to be like that. No, it's, it's your own life. You might find totally new and much better opportunities. So go for those. Number five, and that is very important, super important. And that is, you have to take care of yourself. Don't get too crazy. Okay. Don't think that, okay, if you miss this opportunity, life is over. It's, it's done. I'm not going to get opportunity. Um, this life, yes, we do say time passes so quickly, but life is long enough. Uh, a few months, a year, two years, it's not that big a deal in the bigger picture. Okay. So if you're not if let's say you're doing a job, the job is terrible, your boss is terrible, your environment, that environment there is terrible, and but you are just there because of that area and all that, I do not suggest that. Go, go figure out. There, there is another world open. 
um, for you um, stay in that job apply for more jobs find more opportunities go look for a good environment it's very important where you work you're happy you're satisfied your environment is good even if money is less but environment is good boss is good your colleagues are good it's not a toxic environment okay but you don't want to burn yourself too much earlier your career you know it's a long career you are in this for the long term game not a short term so don't um, overkill yourself take look after your health uh, look after your mental health especially very important uh, so many things have to come in your life and you don't want to just stuck at something and even when you don't see something beyond something there's there's always something it's just you haven't seen it so keep trying and you will find something keep working hard with a good purpose in mind and eventually you will find something i can talk hours and hours on this topic but i'll stop here hopefully you learn something uh, new from me and don't forget to watch some of the videos too really on the number two three things that i mentioned okay thank you bye